Sitting at 9 and 4 to start the season and coming off dominant performances against Purdue Northwest and Wisconsin Parkside, GVSU Volleyball looks to keep improving as they move forward. With us now is head coach Deanne Scanlon and coach 2 and 1 on the week in GLIAC mm -hmm. play. Let's start quickly with that crosstown matchup against Davenport. What did you see out of your team on Tuesday? Um, we we were a little tired, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I, I was I was very disappointed, though. I thought we knew that a midweek match is kind of that grinder type of match that you you don't normally play them, and uh, and um, you know I just felt that uh, you know we had some long rallies, um, but uh, we just weren't able to sustain us any level of play for any length of time, and. And uh, Davenport gets fired up to play us, and they played really well. Um, and we just didn't rise to the occasion. But you did when you came back home. It seems good to be in your home beds. Two wins yeah. at home to start the year. Yeah, it is. You know, uh, we love playing at home, and that's what we tell the kids. You, you, you got to win when you're home because it's tough to win on the road in the GLIAC, especially this year. Our conference is very deep. We've got some teams that have knocked off some number one teams in the country. Um, uh, and, and it's a tough, tough schedule this year. But um, yeah, definitely glad to be home. Uh, you know, our crowd was good. The pep band was great. Um, we had military appreciation night on Friday night, which was, um, you know, my son serves in, in the Army, so that's always an important event for us. So. And now look right out of the gates, a 25 to 8 win in set one. It seemed like your girls were fired up to play that first set at home. Yeah, to, to come out like that, you're never really sure when you get home, you know, do the kids get a little too hyped up? Um, and and I knew that to sustain a 25 to 8 type of run like that, that wasn't going to happen. And, and um, yeah, they definitely bounced back. Purdue did uh, in the second set a little bit. So. But still to hold off for a sweep on that first match mm -hmm. at home seems pretty key, especially after some of the tough games you guys had previously. I exactly. And, and we're a little banged up, too. We, we had a bad week last week as far as some kids. Uh, injuries and illnesses and things so we had a really really short bench this weekend um, and so it was important that we didn't kind of uh, elongate things so and then of course in the GLIAC schedule you go that Friday Saturday back to back so then mm -hmm. on Saturday hosting Wisconsin Parkside for the first time they're brand new to the conference right. you really know what to expect out of them did you yeah you know we see them you know they're they're in our region they've been in the GLBC for years um, have a new head coach uh, and they're very athletic, but they're very young. If you looked at their roster, uh, I want to say they, you know, we start two freshmen and a sophomore, and I think they're, they may have three freshmen that are on the, on the floor for them. So, uh, and, and it showed. They, they did some really, really good things against us offensively, but they made a lot of errors, and it kind of made it a little easier for us. It looked like over the weekend your offense really picked up. There were some mm -hmm. low hitting percentages in the last couple of weeks, but to see them turn it around seemed key. Yeah, you know, we our, our team runs through our middles, and that would be Stacy Brower and Jillian Butsevich, both seniors. And, and uh, if you look at their hitting percentages, they're both hitting well over 300 and, and blocking very well. Uh, and But it's also the most difficult position for a setter to set. And, and we have two young setters that are, this is their first year, you know, really starting and setting a team. Um, so sometimes uh, it, it's harder to take chances to get to the ball to our middle attackers. Um, and, uh, but it's something if we can consistently get the balls to, to Stacy and Jill, we've got a good chance of winning. All right, let's look ahead now to the trip to the UP. You've got mm -hmm. two really long road trips coming yep. up this weekend up to the north. It's always tough to make that trip. Yeah, um, be, going in September is a lot better than going in November. Uh, but we haven't been up there in a couple years, so uh, I think our seniors, uh, their freshman year was the last time that they made that trip. So um, looking forward to getting up there. Northern Michigan and Tech are both playing really well. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, they both beat the number one team in the country earlier this year. Um, so they're playing well. Uh, Northern Michigan is a lot like us. They're a big physical team, so that'll be an interesting matchup. And Michigan Tech's kind of the opposite. They're smaller and, and quicker. So we'll see two different type of teams when we head up there this weekend. Well, it'll certainly be interesting, Coach. Best of luck. Congratulations on a great start and two home wins this weekend. All right. Thank you much. Next up, we talk with women's soccer head coach Jeff Hostler here on the Grand Valley State Sports Report.